start with my introduction okay uh, so myself pranav patel i have been working in uh, this company since last 3 years as tech tech analyst and my primary skill sets are uh, related to microsoft technology and cloud uh, major cloud vendor i have worked on on like gcp as or and uh, yeah uh just brief me about your uh, journey uh, as i can see you have almost uh, 5.5 years of experience right yes sir so uh, how has been your journey and uh, on which technology have you worked on till now yeah coming to myself this is uh, pun chandra and 2016 i completed my mtech course so from 2017 okay. i started my career so initially okay. i started learning the uh, you have technologies like html css javascript jquery mm. boost job mm. Uh, later i started working on the javascript framework and and also javascript library react so these are completely west skills i have coming to my experience i have total 5.5 years of experience as a web developer from the current experience in react is around 3 years and i know two plus uh, this is my experience and skill set what i have and coming to my okay. previous company is helicon technologies is located in hyderabad and um, uh, coming to my client is cvs health uh, the client is cvs health, health domain project uh, Uh, coming to roles responsibility as a web developer, I need to create the, all the components, API integration, CSS changes, bugs management, and agile methodology, scrum meetings, all those things. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you have uh, highlighted experience agile, so A Z I L E. So, so is it different from normal agile? It's the same, same, normal, normal agile. Okay. Okay. Actually, we have the web form big bucket and uh, Jira for ticket management system. Okay. Yeah. And uh, knowledge of deployment, uh, DevOps like Jenkins, Azure, and AWS. So, what exactly have you done in that? We actually, once we the all the development is done and like code review, testing, everything is QA is done. Then we need to deploy hmm. the code from first in the Dev server, after that in the QA server. So, actually, in the actually in the big bucket, we have the CDI pipeline tool. So, the the using that pipeline tool, we can deploy in the Dev Dev server. Once the testing is complete, then we will deploy the QA server. Other than then some projects are in Jenkins. So Jenkins also with, uh, test the deploy the same process. Uh, we have the uh, mm. development and QA server. The pipeline is running. If any errors, any yes, any this are coming, the uh, the pipeline is break bro- broke and any errors are there. So we need to fix them. So this type of experience I have. So that deployment things, yeah. Okay. Okay. Suppose, suppose in deployment, uh, I have uh, I want to change a connection string, okay, or any configuration file. In in development, there is X Y Z dot config file and uh, production A B C dot dot config file. So how how can we shuffle? I how can we change uh, so we, that so thing well, during? Also, we need hmm? to configure it like for which one the which one is server uh, the server. Hmm. So related hmm. to we have settings. What is the domain name and what is the Server IP address, something, some another database instances. So all those things okay. can't be initially starting. So uh, mm. so once we deploy the dev server, so automatically those configs will take from the dev server. Yeah. So so uh, I'll I'll start with React. Okay. So in in what what was the primary need of React? Because uh, earlier or .NET Java already has that uh, UI thing. Right. So, what was the need of this React? Actually, uh, previously, previous years we had multiple applications like uh, front or back end is one technology like that, not the Java, PHP, anything. In the front end, we use the HTML, CSS, JavaScript, the jQuery. So that is multi uh, in the initial days. So now with this, uh, the client one, the the user experience is very fast, which is mm-hmm. very fast. So then we the uh, the single page application concept is introduced. So in the multi-page application, what happened for every click or for every request, the request is going to the server again, back getting the response again, the page loading. So for every click, mm. so for everything, the page is hitting the server and getting the response. The page is loading. User feel is uh, some little bit slow like that. So now it's coming to single-page applications. Only the first time the page will page will load. So for every click, any click is happen only for data purpose only. It hit the server, but not directly through the backend API calls. It does hit the server and get the response. Once we get the JSON data, we are manipulating the UI part one, only UI part, not the complete mm. page reloading. So that then only the what is what are the particular part UI only that will change, but the component will change. Not the complete page will not change. 
సార్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఫీల్స్ యు రెడీ ఫర్ వే ఫర్స్ట్ దిస్ ఇస్ సింగిల్ పేజ్ అప్లికేషన్ సో ఇన్ దే ఓకే బట్ హ్మ్ యా గో ఆన్ సారీ సో దే ఫర్ ఫస్ట్ ఫర్ ఫర్ ఫీల్ ద సింగిల్ పేజ్ అప్లికేషన్స్ ది రియాక్ట్ ఇస్ ది వెరీ గుడ్ ఆన్ ద దిస్ లైబ్రరీ రియాక్ట్ దిస్ లైబ్రరీ యా ఓకే how how react understands that on my suppose i have, this is my page and this is my uh, first component second component third component fourth component okay so on on suppose i am changing i am changing a drop down list on fourth component then how react understands that uh, user has changed this fourth component so i have to render only fourth component so actually if we, for as we have components means it's rendering on some dom some dom hmm. so if any hmm. changes happen the dom what it means initially when the component loaded the dom mm. part will take as a copy original dom is take up a copy and create the virtual dom create the virtual dom that means the mm. copy of the real dom if any changes happen that component means any changes happen in that dom it will create the another virtual dom with along with the changes okay okay and so then, you 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 meant to say a dom is specific to a component Yes, specific or is it suppose uh-huh. i have four component uh, on a page then I, I, i should i have four four dom or just a single dom so actually it has a complete of the uh, app app for example we have to- total page one to one component that is the app mm. components the app code, component the, okay the, the dom whole dom is taken as the virtual dom now mm. if any changes happen in the in any component that but the, the no change along with the no changes take the other another virtual dom okay now is comparing mm. the what is the previous virtual dom what is the update virtual dom only those particular nodes only is updating is irrespective of the component so only that mm. particular nodes will be updated not a complete dom so that, that is it. okay so what what is the layer we called that is in between this this virtual dom and the actual uh, dom there is there is something right uh, so it's, which it's will possible. understand is it hmm? reconciliation process like a reconciliation process is called okay and uh, there is a concept of trans compiler in react babel babel compiler yeah. so what what exactly the role of that yeah actually uh, the browsers understand the uh, actually javascript we are the we are based on the ecmascript so ecmascript hmm. in this field the into the javascript standards so the hmm. browsers can understand the up to es5 features okay and the yes mm. from the yes 6 they introduce a new features which is not direct understand understand by the browser mm. so we need to, so we are writing the react uh, angular we can write in any in the yes 6 yes 6 like uh, like a type script like yes 6 code okay mm. that the yes 6 can directly not can understand by the browser so before uh, going to the browser the bible translate the code from the yes 6 to yes 5 what is the browser understandable code it is translated so bible is translated and give to the browser okay okay so uh, yeah, as you mentioned es6 so if the one of the primary feature of es6 is arrow function okay mm-hmm. so so is it different from writing the legacy this function then function name then uh, bracket open bracket close so is it different uh, performance wise uh? performance wise uh, would it uh, would it affect the performance if i write arrow function over the legacy uh, normal function so perform uh, we can say as a performance wise also but the main the main advantages of the arrow function is mm. the disk keyword so the mm. disk if you apply the any change on disk keyword in a normal function is is applying to mm. the global object like global window object mm. but if you apply using the disk keyword in the arrow function this change is applying mm. the, the current object only so this is the main advantage of the arrow function and also for performance wise also will take in the shorter form of the functions for coding part also we can consider yeah okay and what is let keyword in es6 so we we have the var keyword for the variable declaration mm. let mm. also we for the variable declaration but the main difference between the var and let is where is a like we can consider the global level let is we can consider the local scope so for example if we mm. declare the variable inside the block using the var we can use that variable outside the block also but if we declare okay. the variable using the let inside the block mm. we cannot use that variable outside the block so only that block level scope is using the let yeah oh, yeah yeah wait
This is your latest project, CSV Health. Yeah, CVS Health, yeah. CVS Health, CVS Health. So what exactly was your role in this? So, or are you still working on this project only? I mean, uh, I already left the company. Uh, previous, um, before okay. left the company, the project is ending. Uh, actually, okay. this project only uh, mainly for the health domain projects. So it's, uh, like, mm -hmm. it's uh, like a product which is used for the hospitals. The client mm -hmm. is uh, developing a product which are used by the any hospital. So it can handle uh, total ho hospital systems like uh, drugs come from the doctors' information, patients' information, perceptions, disease information, and uh, patient previous history, bills, or transactions. Complete the uh, uh, staff, all the uh, all the hospital managers can use interview. Okay, in the, but what was your role? Your role is to just only coding or uh, managing team or what was so that? Actually, as a senior developer, actually we have hmm. the around uh, up to ten members of the team. So okay, ten members okay. of the, we have the, like uh, three are testers and uh, one product uh, product manager and uh, scrum master, product owner, and we have the nearly six the six developers. Out of six, we have the two seniors and remaining four are the junior members. So okay. what, as a senior developer, I need to give the support to the junior developers. At the same time, I need to work on the my tickets also. Yeah. So in, in that you have mentioned database management using .NET. So what exactly did you use? Uh, uh... I'm not directly the back end technology I mentioned. What is the use of... Okay. Yeah. So you're, you're mainly... How much are you comfortable if we give you uh, the .NET based API solution? Okay and uh, you need you have to create the whole new ui and uh, we will uh, provide you mockups like whatever my sc screen should look like and uh, some some minor change would occur like adding one of the parameter in some of the procedure uh, you have to fetch uh, additional properties on you have to show additional properties somewhere on screen so that kind of change how comfortable are you in to make those kind of change considering .NET or any other framework like Java or Node.js. Actually, I have experience on PHP. PHP okay. Uh, in hmm. data management, MySQL data management system. So in, a PHP, okay. in PHP, we have the Laravel framework. We use, uh, as hmm. So database design, MySQL queries, writing MySQL queries, and writing the APIs. I have experience. In .NET, a little bit, but I don't get the chance. But so what I will do, I will go to the controller or any um, the control file and the model file. If you want to do any change, okay. I will do. Yeah. And coming to the mockups, they do the Figma designs. So based on that, hmm. we can uh, develop the system. And we have a template system, so we are using that one for the for the global temp team. Okay. And and in React, uh, are you aware of any framework like Atom Molecule or any kind of uh, framework? Yeah, atom atom design pattern I use that. Molecules, arguments, or atoms, this type of. Uh, and also MUA uh, template system we use. Materials. What is MUA? It's a material design. Like an angular, angular material, we have the material design. Mm. I, I, I okay. Yeah. This atom structures like creating the micro level components, I have experience here. Okay. And uh, in MVC, so have you worked on any of the single project with MVC in, in previous years? Like you were talking about the atoms. Dot uh, net MVC. Dot net MVC. Yeah, I was uh, actually uh, I said the previous um, the it's like uh, the PHP is a coding nature. We have the controllers, models, mm. and uh, template systems. So in mm. models we have data management, code analysis, control system, business logic I use. Use for the template system. This MVC pattern I use. And for database also we create the like uh, entities, database entities, and the database mm. uh, these things here yeah, experience here. Yeah. So what, what's your uh, name? I mean, it's uh, Madigonda or Purna. What's your name? Okay. Yeah, I'm almost done from my side. Uh, do you have any question for me? Yeah, so or do I you want to like, ask something? The only one question, like if I select a need to work on the React, uh, React JS project, am I right? Mostly 80% of time, yes. 
but uh, sometimes the client may demand of uh, angular or other ui stuff then you have to work on it but most probably it should be uh, it will be react only so it's a service uh, service based or product based or it's a service based company uh, okay but client? see see service based this is a service based company but uh, our client has their own product so we have to work on their product so yeah. it's i can say yeah got it. Got it. and mostly we have we, we have international clients only so no national clients so you have to i mean apart from this coding activity and team leading activity uh, not team leading uh, you have to work as an individual contributor okay and uh, you have to uh, you know how to show your work to the customer and uh, they 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 made they may come up with a few changes on the call i mean not like a formal change request come but they they, they will uh, tell you right uh, on the call itself that uh, you have to change you have to move this uh, this control to this and it should be like this so then those those kind of things you have to understand uh, that itself and you have to uh, ask the customer about uh, i mean it, it should be like your your understandability should be uh, well enough to to grasp the change what they are telling okay yeah got it got it yeah uh, that